If you've ever met anyone from Sudan, you've met some of the most amazing human beings on earth. They are people that love Allah, they love His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi. They're lighthearted and their faces are always radiating with the radiance of Iman. That's why it makes it so difficult and hard to see the scenes of conflict coming out of Sudan. The Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi told us that the parable of believers when it comes to their gentleness and kindness and love with each other is as if they're one body. If one part of it is hurt, the rest of it is hurt. And so our hearts are bleeding and they're hurt from what we're seeing happening to Sudan. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives mercy to those that have lost their lives in this conflict. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a home and shelter to those that have been displaced. And we ask him subhana that he returns everyone back to Sudan in a peaceful way, Ya Allah, that he takes away this conflict and makes it easy for them, Ya Allah, Ya Kareem. To all of the families uh, that I know from Sudan in the United States and Canada and Qatar, uh, my condolences to any of your losses and just know that oh, my heart is with you, my dua is with you, the dua of the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala is with you. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bring ease to your hearts and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Ya Rabbi Ya Kareem, remove this conflict, Ya Arham Ar-Rahimeen, Ameen Ya Rabbi.